let me give you guys a tip if you're ever installing rocks buckets are definitely the way to go all right if you do wheelbarrows stuff gets real real heavy not that this ain't heavy but you can fill the bucket up with however much you can carry obviously not everybody's gonna be able to fill it up and then you just take them bucket by bucket What's going on everybody? It's 10 o'clock and I just finished up this first job for the day. So I'm gonna show you what I've been working on. Now I've done a lot of landscaping here and today I've been working on the rocks. And as you can see, I'm covered in sweat and I've taken about 6,000 steps, which isn't too bad. And I've done 44 trips with two buckets at a time, putting uh, White River Rock down. So y'all check it out. Now I've installed all these plants, these Robolinis and foxtail ferns, all the shrubs. There's weed mat down. Uh, I also uh, installed these drainages that go back to the retention pond because after they put the pavers, they had a real hard time with flooding look how fresh this looks and this is one cubic yard of white river rock it starts there and stretches so far all the way down to here and then next week I'm gonna come and put a border uh, along the grass and finish up this bed and then I got to move on to the rest of the house they want to get rid of these crushed limestone rocks and finish putting down all this white river rock. So that's not bad for one cubic yard. Uh, that actually covered quite a lot and that cost $500 delivered and installed. Not too bad. And I get a hell of a workout. Some people pay a lot of money to go to a gym and do CrossFit and in a way, I do CrossFit for a living. Anyways, I'm always showing the garden and I just wanted to show the aspect of what I do for work, how I make my money. So y'all have a good day and I'm gonna get back at you later.